Hello, I'd like to talk to you today about some of the key features new to Aviva Reports for Operations 2023. First, let's cover the new drivers available. We've rewritten our Aviva Pi Server Asset Framework drivers to take advantage of the new functionality available with the 2018 version of the toolkit. We're also happy to release the Pi Server driver for historical values that uses the new Web REST API. With this, Reports no longer requires Pi client tools to be installed on the local machine. It can connect to a local or remote machine simply by entering the address in the configuration. It works with both the traditional Pi data server and the asset server and exposes all retrieval modes and data quality types. We've added an Aviva Historian ODBC driver, which enables you to connect and gather data from your Aviva Historian and run traditional SQL queries on it, giving much more flexibility to generating the data for your reports. The new Insight Performance driver is made to connect to Aviva Insight Performance to gather MES data. Connected Insight is made by entering the URL for the performance page of your Insight server. Once connected, all the information is available in a hierarchical format for easy use. We also added and enhanced the following drivers you see below. With the Aviva Reports for Operations 2023, you're now able to take one or a group of objects like graphical or tabular data and configure them to be a web cluster. These clusters are assigned a unique URL that can be usable in applications like OMI or InTouch. The content of the objects can be configured to refresh automatically, and the security settings can be set up so that a particular user is automatically logged in. Once it's been set up, you can host that web cluster of reporting objects in any third-party container. Enhancements to electronic signatures include the addition of states, which give greater granularity of the state of the approval of a report. These states are graphically represented by a given color of the signature link. We've included dedicated destinations for reports that are in various states of completion. Another big addition to e-signatures is state notification. Now you're able to define and customize the workflow of notifications for approvals through the web portal and or email. These notifications can include a direct link to the report that needs to be signed making the process much easier for users. The signing of reports can then be used as an event to trigger another level of signatures. In this example, Max will be notified that her approval is required once Alex signs it. We've made some enhancements to user management and security. First off is the addition of folders or levels of reports. These levels can include their own security settings as well. Advanced security settings have been added, including password rotation enforcement, password or account expiration, and the ability to lock an account after a number of failed attempts or amount of time. Web portal enhancements include the ability to automatically format a report for either a PC or mobile client. Information will be arranged in a format best suited for the client that it's running on. For users that would like to customize the title of a web report, we've added the fields for just that. Another security enhancement is the ability to configure a whitelist of URLs for links to sites outside of the report. Here you can define which website your reports are able to point to. It will automatically query all of your reports and present you with a list of all the external references. Other enhancements include dedicated web client licenses for particular users, version control timestamps to allow better clarity in versions of the application, and various UI improvements to simplify development. Thanks for watching.